Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, playing some more Scrap Mechanic. Today is going to be another town update. Now this update is going to be a little smaller than the last couple, and the reason being, I was pretty busy over the weekend, and it's something to do with the channel. I'm currently building a new computer. Now I was hoping to have it done in time for this episode, that way you can kind of see the difference in the lag. But, unfortunately the power supply unit that I bought, the fan wasn't working, so Getting that worked out, hopefully by Wednesday or Thursday I'll have the new computer up and we'll have it running for Scrap Mechanic and all the other games that I play. But yeah, it's definitely something that's really exciting. It's going to open up some new opportunities. Uh, the town can definitely get bigger because this new computer that I've built is going to pack quite a bit more power. And also it'll open up for other games that I might want to play on the channel that I haven't been able to do before. But Anyways, let's go ahead and check out the new building. Now, it's only one building, but it's something you guys have been asking about, and I've kind of dodged it a little bit, and I wasn't really sure how I wanted to do it. But let's drive over there. Whoa! There we go. There's the uh, bank from the last episode. If you didn't check that out, I'll probably link that in the description. But the new building that I built, and you can kind of see it here in the background. It is something that has absolutely taken a lot of time, but I'm really proud of how it came out. And that is an apartment building. You guys have, it's been consistent. Every video is, well, you've got a town, but you have nowhere to live. And I know I've talked about a neighborhood, and that's still a plan, but I wanted to put something in town that you can live in. And I came up with an apartment. Now, this thing is only two units. It looks like four but each apartment has two stories. I almost started to build another one, and I'm glad I didn't because this took a long time, and I was like, you know, at first the plan was like, I'm going to build one, maybe a unit over here, and this unit here, and I kind of started on it, and then I realized, oh my, this is going to take a long time because I really want these apartments to be really detailed, and I'm highly satisfied with the way they came out. As you can see, the outside's kind of a modern looking decor I guess I don't know I'm not really I don't have that eye I don't, I don't know how to explain it I, I just really go look at a bunch of pictures on Google images and look at different apartments kind of pick out what I like and try to put my own spin on it but really extremely happy with the way this building came out now if you're asking what this is over to the right that was a uh, mailbox. Uh, a lot of these apartments will have like a community mailbox where everybody just goes and collects their mail. It's probably bigger than it really needs to be since there's only two units here, but that's what that is. I've got a little area. We're going to go ahead and walk around the back before we go inside. I've fenced everything off. I started to build, and this was the last thing that I did, and I'm going to continue this a little bit. I started to build a little bit of like a play area for possible kids or... Just try to make this backyard look a little bit more homey, so... Is that even a word? Homey? Without it being... Hmm. I think you guys know what I mean. Anyways, I'm going to build some playground stuff back here. Maybe a grill or a pit. Just make it look really cool back here. Now, those are the backs of the apartment. Uh, you can see the balconies. There's a, really a lot to these. Now, I left this one apartment open. To the right, we'll go through it here in a second, but it's actually empty. It's got some boxes. It looks like somebody's about to move into it. And I wanted to leave one of them empty for you guys to go in there and do whatever you want with it. But we're going to go into the one that's actually furnished first. So let's go ahead and pop through the door. As you can see the uh, outside here, you've got the lights. Uh, not really much to explain. Like I said, at first I thought about doing the four units and having stairs that went up. But I decided that I'd have to build, like, I'd have to build it really big to get all the furniture that I want on the inside, so. Anyways, let's pop in here. Right, open the door. And here is the living area. Now, the living area is connected to the kitchen. Everything's kind of one area here on the bottom floor. But over here to the left, you got just a little table, radio. Got a little den area. You can see a huge TV. Got a couch here, really like the couch. I wanted to stuff a recliner like right here, but I was having some clearance issues. You've got the first patio, how many patios do I have? I think I have three. 
You've got the first one that you can walk out, kind of look around. And the door, I had a problem. I mean, I could have swung the door the other way, but it would have looked a little awkward because it's a pretty big door and I would have ran into the other side of the uh, patio here. Let's go ahead and close that. Let's uh, take a small tour of the kitchen. Pretty basic and, oh, I forgot to close that up. You know, I was trying to hide all of the uh, controllers down here that go to all the doors and, you know, originally I was supposed to cover this up, so let's do that real quick. Just pretend you didn't see that. Actually, I just used the wrong material. Let's go ahead and repeat this process again. There we go. And we have the right brown. I think it's this one. Anyways, you've got the uh, cabinets here. you got a stove. I thought about putting a microwave. I'm kind of leaving that open to you guys. Got some overhead lighting here. We've got a fridge. It opens up. Go ahead and pop that open. Don't have a lot of room in here. Uh, I wanted to actually probably stick some things in there. I could probably stick like a duck or two in there. But there's just not a lot of room here. And just the way the scrap mechanic blocks are, you can't really... Like, I really wish they had like a half block because it would be really easy to make stuff like fridges and stuff. But uh, you unfortunately don't have that, so... Anyways, you've got a little bathroom down here. Now, there's a big master bathroom upstairs, so if you're wondering why there's no shower or bathtub, that's what's going on down here. This is for the guest. You don't want you don't want them going up in your master bathroom and bedroom. But anyways, you can open the back here. You know, I'm not sure if I have these doors all going the right way. I'll have to double check. But yeah, you can walk right out here into the backyard. Real easy and convenient. Let's go ahead and close that. Alright, let's go upstairs real quick. Now upstairs, at first I had two bedrooms and one bathroom. But I decided to not do that because there just wasn't enough room up here. I wanted to have a big master bedroom. And I want to have a master bathroom. And I just didn't have enough room. Initially I had to split off into three like rooms. I had a probably a section ending right here. I had a middle one with the bathroom and then I had a end one with the uh, another bedroom. But it just didn't work out so I decided to go with just a one bedroom apartment and just try to make it more roomy. So anyways, you got another TV up here. Got some controllers hidden off. Uh, they're really just going to the doors. And right here, now I debated on putting another door here for the master bathroom, but I decided to go ahead and leave it open. So I'm gonna, I just left the door over here just in case, you know, just make it easier for other people to get in. I know I talked about the bathroom downstairs for guests, but I just feel like it's necessary to leave it open. But anyways, you can look around here a little bit. It's got its own private balcony. It's actually got two of them. You've got the front one up here. And we've got the back one. Really like these balconies. They're just really nice. And it's kind of cool being elevated off the ground because you can look around and see other parts of the city. Like you can see the junkyard way off in the distance. The Kind of right behind the pizza place and the car wash. But if I can eventually run that road, maybe down that way, we can put some more buildings here. Just make it look really full. Anyways, let's go ahead and hop back in here. Now, I almost forgot to show you guys the master bathroom. Let's go ahead and walk in here. Quite roomy. This is the reason I didn't add the extra bedroom. I just needed this area to build something that looked like a true master bathroom. There's a lot in here. Got a nice view. Got your toilet, sink. You've got the shower. The shower is kind of hard to open. You have this big door, but you kind of have to be on this side to really walk in and out of it. Now, to close it, you're just going to have to hop on the counter and let's duck down. Close it that way. Got a nice tub. It's just truly everything that you would need in a master bathroom, and I'm really happy with the way that came out. And I've been debating, now one thing I haven't done here, and I don't know, I kind of like the gray ceiling here. I also, I think in the other unit, I have it painted 
kind of like the floor is, but I don't know. I've been debating if I wanted to paint the floor like the ceiling, but I think I'm actually going to leave this gray. I think it actually looks good. So let's go ahead and close. I'm going to go ahead and go over to the empty unit and just show you guys. You know, if you want to download this, you can go in here and you'll have your own little space. You can come in and do whatever you want with this unit. Now, this unit still has most of the standard amenities. Like, everything's exactly the same. Uh, almost like you would expect it if you were to get a new apartment. You know, of course, you're still going to have a lot of your things already set up. The uh, counter's all set up. There is a stove in here. I kind of did the same thing with the other one. I probably should have closed this up. Just had to get all these controllers going. But yeah, you can come in here, do whatever you want with it. Make it your own. You can change the colors. Now, the walls are only one wide. So whatever you do in here, say if you change the color of the wall, you're going to affect the outside. So, you know, try to be careful about the walls. Now, the floors are a different story. The floors, you're not going to believe. There, there's two layers right there up on top and then of course you don't have to worry about the bottom layer so you can change the color of the floors uh the bathroom i think i furnished this yep kind of like the other building all right let's go upstairs oh kind of get hung up on the stairs there that's the master bathroom and you've got the master bedroom like i said i just threw some boxes in here it makes it look like somebody's moving in but you guys can delete these do whatever you want with them I almost decorated this apartment too, but I thought it would just be cool to leave it open for you guys to go in and do whatever you want with it. I didn't realize how many people actually download my maps, and I've been getting a lot of feedback from people going in here and looking around them. So I figured that would just be really neat to leave that open to you guys. So, anyway, still got the same bit of patios. Everything's the same. Like, I actually had this wall open when I was building these two units. That way I can copy everything. So let's see. Here we go. But yeah, there's some plans with this. Now I've been getting a lot of requests and I'm kind of picking everything apart. I'm glad I finally have some sort of housing here for you guys. But I've seen the airport request. I've seen the, I mean, the construction site in the middle. I've seen a lot of just random building requests. Uh, some some vehicles, those aren't quite as requested right now. I guess you guys already figure we have a lot of vehicles. We have just a lot of things going on. I actually looked at the spider web earlier, and I just kind of looked around the whole town. I was like, wow, there's a lot going on here. And my computer here is handling it pretty good, but I'm really excited to see what the new computer is going to do because if it opens up the way I kind of want it to, I have a feeling we can definitely make this a lot more busy and not have to deal with any lag. But like I said, right now, the lag isn't too bad, but I can definitely see it. You might not see it quite as much on when like, I upload the videos, but I'm definitely seeing it, and it it's really, really distracting. It's It makes me afraid like it's going to turn out like the apocalypse world and get to a point where it's really hard to play in, but... The new computer should help, and like I said, you guys are part of the reason that I was able to do that. So, I feel like I owe you guys a big thank you. Uh, it's it's amazing. The, the channel's been going so great right now, and that has actually really made it possible for me to build this new computer. So, I look forward to continuing Scrap Mechanic and doing these builds, working on this town, possibly going back into the FarmBot world and continuing work on that I have a lot of plans I've got a lot of plans for other games and I'm just really excited for the future and I want to thank you guys for supporting me and supporting this series and all my other series so definitely thank you but yeah the download is in the description below if you'd like to try that out I'll have another update hopefully a bigger update on this world coming soon I'm gonna work on this computer I should have it ready to go by then so Hopefully that'll go smoothly. I'm I've got I've had a couple issues like I said with the power supply unit, but hopefully those will get resolved and there will be no interruptions. Now, I cannot guarantee there's not going to be any sort of interruptions this week uh, with this build going and it has taken some of my time away to record. So, it is very possible that I might miss another day. I'm not 100% sure. Hopefully I don't. If not, I can fill it in with some more turmoil or something. 
just to try to keep the content steady for you guys. But anyways, hope you enjoyed this episode, and we will see you guys next time. Thank you.